Hello, my name is Sarah and I am a leadership development specialist who focuses on STEM at the Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland Council. Today I'm going to be sharing a video on how our Ambassador Girl Scouts can earn their Space Science Master Badge at home. The purpose of this badge is for girls to understand more about space science as well as how they can get into research with NASA now and hopefully in the future. I will be posting the links at the end of the video that will be helpful when doing research and additional resources while working on this badge. And also, girls, you can get the PDF for this badge at girlscoutshop.com and in the search bar, search for space science and find the ambassador badge and you can actually download this badge requirement uh, PDF for free right now. So that's a great way to get the resources you need as well. So we're going to get started with step one, which is discover worlds beyond Earth. So for this step, I want you to create a postcard or a travel brochure to a place that one could visit in space. Now that could be the sun, another planet, one of Jupiter's moons, wherever you think would be a really interesting place for people to visit. Once you do some research on that place, create a postcard or a travel brochure that answers some questions about what sites people could see, why it's an interesting place for people to visit, the distance it is from Earth to that place or from your house to that place. And once you've gathered that research, create the postcard or brochure. And you can do that digitally. You can do it on with markers and paper, however you want to create br your brochure or postcard. And once that's complete, I want you to send it to someone. It could be a family member, a friend, or another troop member, but I want you to share what you've worked on and what you've learned with someone else. Once you've completed that step, step two is dive into NASA science. So this is where more research is done on NASA and the things that they're studying about and how you can become more involved with their research. So you can look at heliophysics, astrophysics, planetary science, or earth science, and ask yourself these questions when you're doing your research. What do we already know? What does NASA already know about studying these specific sciences? What are they trying to find out? What are some of the unknowns that they don't know about yet? How are they finding out more information? Are there missions established? Are they doing research um, with telescopes? Are they sending people to that place? Look at how they're trying to find out more information. And additionally, I want you to also look up women who are in that field of space science and their contributions. And that could be women who are currently in those roles or women who have been in those roles in the past. And I want you again to share that information with someone. It could be the same person or it could be someone new, but I want you to look at one of those fields of space science as well as women who are involved in those fields and share your research with, with another friend or Girl Scout. Step three is where you get to explore your interests. So use a virtual telescope, or if you have an actual telescope, this is a great way to look at the night sky and check out um, what our astronomers see and what they're researching. There's links that are in the badge packet with virtual telescopes, as well as the links I'll post at the end. Or you can get apps on your phone like Skyview and Star Space Telescope that allow you to look at the night sky in a telescope in a virtual form. But if you do have a regular telescope, I encourage you to look through that on a nice clear night so that you're able to see the sky at its best. It's not as nice if it's cloudy or inclement weather. So be sure to find a night where it's nice and clear so that you're able to see the night sky. Step four is dig deeper. So you're gonna take what you just learned from viewing your through your telescope and take it to the broader night sky. So I want you to go on a virtual field trip to a planetarium to check out the night sky. Um, resources like Stellarium and The Sky Live are great places to start, but you can Google search online planetariums, and it gives you a lot of resources, and find one that makes the most sense to you and that gives you just the amount of information that you want or is easy for you to use. I also want you to check out resources that the University of Wisconsin has in their space science and engineering department, as well as their atmospheric and oceanic sciences department. 
They're doing a lot of amazing research right here in Wisconsin on space and all the different space sciences. So go ahead and go to those websites, check out their research as well as what it means to be a student in those departments. And I also want you to check out the UW Space Place website, which I will also share with you just so you are able to see what we're doing right here in Wisconsin and how maybe you can be more involved in that research here as well. The final step, step five, is share what you've learned. So after learning about the night sky, about NASA and their research, about women in NASA, in NASA I want you to share what you've learned by making a creation or a presentation. So you can make a collage, you can paint a picture, you can make an advertisement or a video, just sharing what you've learned about something that you didn't know before and wanna share with others. So for example, I created a collage about NASA and the important moments that involved women. So I have a photo of Sally Ride, I have a photo of the first African-American woman in space, I also have a photo over here of the first of the women who did the first International Space Station walk, as well as really great pictures of the sun and the moon and the Milky Way, all that I found while doing some research on NASA's website. And I will be sharing this with other people that I know. So it can be something like that, or if you wanna be creative and create a comic book or create a, a video of a story that's happening at the planet or place you wanted to visit in space, in step one, the possibilities are endless. I want you to create that project and share it again with somebody so that they can see everything that you've learned and that you might be able to answer any questions that they might have. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of those presentations that you create and come up with. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and now that you're on your way to earning your space science badges, I want you to stay tuned after the video to check out the links that you can use as resources as well as doing your research and finding the PDF for the badge. I hope you have fun and be sure to reach for the stars while earning this badge. Take care.